Hello and welcome to round nine of the Guinness Premiership. This weekend we're coming to you from Worcester where fans are asking where have all the tries gone? Not just here, but in grounds up and down the country. The fact is, last year each game produced on average four and a half tries. This year it's down to two and a half tries a game. Well, the good news is this weekend's visitors, Saracens, are the only team to have scored a try in every single game so far this season. So, how would the Warriors handle that? Mike Ruddick's men have gone four games without a win. They face a clinical Sarri side looking to make a nine from nine. Gloucester have stopped the rot recently, but how will they fare on the road? Second from bottom face second from top as Bath welcome London Irish to the ref. No Richard Cockerell in sight, but look who's back. I'm here at Welford Road for the visit of Leeds and the return of a Leicester legend. Well, Worcester Warriors against Saracens, our featured game this weekend. That's coming your way a bit later on, but let's concentrate for a moment on the criticism that the game has come under of late. People say the rules need to be changed. They say there's too much kicking. Well, I'll be interested in the views of a man who was born and bred in that world of running rugby in Wales, Mike Ruddock. Mike, is the game a bit dull? It's very physical. I think it's uh, you know it's very intense and uh, it's actually very competitive and it's very close at the end of most games. If you look at last weekend, it was uh, 12 all I think with us in Bath, uh, Gloucester, Leicester I think it was 12 nine. I think Newcastle won up in uh, London Irish but kicked penalties. So it's exciting, but from a rugby purist point of view, and I'm probably in that uh, in that category, uh, I'd probably rather see a little bit more open rugby at times and and this new breakdown law. Has probably influenced the game quite considerably uh, and slowed a lot of ball down. Uh, and tonight, uh, obviously, Saracens are the masters of that. Uh, in the breakdown, we've got to try and match them there. You can't blame teams, though, can you? Because the sensible thing to do at the moment is to play safe, conservative rugby in your own half, only play when you're in a good position in the field to do so. You don't want to get pinged unnecessarily. And, and that's the fear at the moment, isn't it? And it is a fear, isn't it? Well, all the rights are with uh, the defensive player at the moment in the breakdown he's the only one that can use his hands the attacking team uh, can't use their hands so obviously a disadvantage and um, the last thing you want to do is give away a penalty or turnover in your own half um, it's a shame because you know I think that that could be the time when you should run the ball because obviously a lot of uh, teams will have their full back and wingers back expecting a kick and there could be space to go for it it's interesting, a lot of the talk is also about Irish rugby and how that's a great blueprint of how the English game could go of course, the downside of that is in Ireland they put the national team first, then the Euro then Europe, and then the Magnus, which is effectively their Guinness Premiership. So we don't want the Guinness Premiership downgraded, do we? No, it's a, it's a great competition to be part of, and it's a great players out there. You know, I think uh, perhaps if they look at that tackle or again, it might just open up the, the game a little bit more. But there's still a lot to enjoy for the punters to come in and watch. There's a lot of guys going hammer and tongs at each other. There's still a lot of skill on show. And it's some very exciting games with very close finishes. Thanks, Mike. Well, hopefully his wishes are granted and we get to see a good running game of rugby a little bit later on. Worcester against Saracens, our featured game this weekend. Now, we were hoping to bring you action from Sale versus Wasps. However, the game was called off in controversial circumstances, with the London side refusing to take to the field of play, as they claimed the pitch was too wet and therefore unsafe. Referee David Rose was prepared to play the game, but he was powerless to force Wasps to take to the field. The match was officially postponed 14 minutes after the scheduled start. Premier Rugby have requested a full report. Scant consolation, though, for the fans who made their way to Edgeley Park. Ah yes, another week and another debate in the world of rugby.